Hi there ladies and gents, what I want to talk to you about today is uh, what they are, what causes them, and what can be done about them. Now, I want to start off with a definition. Now to me, a Zerg is a blob of players, be it under an unexperienced or unimaginative leader, or utterly leadership, be it just a whole bunch of uh, solo players or small squads that have been left orphans after their uh, squad leaders have disappeared. Now that blob will generally roll down a lattice lane with no opposition, or very little opposition, until it reaches a hard take by lab or a three point base, or is a uh, it runs into a uh, simple hard to take base like Scarred Mesa Skydock, for example. Yeah. Now, the other option, of course, is that they get no opposition whatsoever, in which case they will probably just roll along. They may stop and go elsewhere, but usually they'll just keep going because there'll be one or two people with them to shoot inside a spawn room. Uh, the other possibility is that they might get taken apart by long range AV, lancers, AV mana turrets, uh, lockdown prowlers, etc., etc., um, and that can stall them. Now, I would argue that a Zerg is different to an Overpop because an Overpop uh, is, is more kind of a, a strategic tactical thing where people have actually made a conscious effort to put more players in an area so that they can capture it. Usually it's because it's one of these hard to take bases, which I've mentioned already, three point bases, biolabs, uh, places like Skydock, Sky Skydock, as an example. Perhaps. Now, dwelling on these uh, hard to take bases, after all these years of watching them, both in this game as well as in the original game, I do think that Zergs form for, for very particular reasons. Not just because people like piling on until there's this humongous force, and I, I think that does happen, but I don't think that's the root cause of them. I think it's the root cause is these defensible bases. And it's because, I mean, as you can see in the video, I'm attacking uh, Skydome Skydock with a single squad, and very quickly the fight escalates. Not on our side, but it escalates on the defender's side until eventually, towards the end of the video, you see that we're outnumbered, uh, like three to two, and it's it's an interesting situation that we got into, and it was all because the defenders know that they can easily defend the base and they part back into it. And SMS suffers for this because of the, you've got these hard to take bases, biolabs, three point bases, all over the place, and uh, it's it's a problem. Now, I think that Zergs form because once you get this defense happening the attackers get disheartened their sunderers get destroyed and the defenders are left with a lot of people there but also potentially vehicles as well and they're not going to want to drop those they're going to want to use them and they're going to then push down the lattice lane now the defenders probably won't want to defend against them they'll go elsewhere or sorry the attackers won't want to stick around and defend against this blob that's just defeated them some of them likely will maybe meet them in the field with tanks but on the whole they'll probably just redeploy to another to a defensive fight of their own in a second you'll be able to see the uh, image which I put together a while ago about how we can dramatically kill the Zerg. Now to be honest with you, looking back, I think it's more ever so slightly massaging the uh, player behaviour so that they can uh, hopefully avoid the Zergs and uh, discourage them. But on the whole I don't think it's going to make a huge amount of difference. You, as you can see there, I, I talked about increasing spawn times for overpopped forces. To be honest, I think that's probably the opposite way is going to be best. The, uh, the carrot rather than the stick and reduce the uh, the outnumbered outnumbered empires spawn times that would work best. I've also got some extra bits on the mini map to encourage people to be aware of overpop when it happens and uh, the the and relevant kind of XP perks for fighting outnumbered or not as the case may be. And then finally, I've got a bit of talking about directives both for leaders and for individual players and how they could uh, in, how, how we could be encouraged to play away from the Zerg and fight the good fight against uh, um, against uh, hard odds, you know? However, overall, I don't think that, as I've said, I don't think those are going to make a huge difference. I think we need to address the root causes, which is these hard to take bases. Now, thankfully, we're seeing these hard to take bases have adjustments, at least on Indar. Xander is doing a fantastic job, it appears, to be going through and altering these bases, although I know some people disagree, but, well, on the whole, they will be improved because there's very little way they could be made worse, some of the bases. Now, I mean, for example, tech plants are difficult, to, well, if not impossible, hopefully, to get us under on the point, which should make a huge difference to attacking those. Uh, Scarred Mesa Skydock, as an example, is being made so that you can actually attack it without having to use the jump pads, which again should be fantastic as jump pad combat is awful and is generally ends up with whoever's used them to push, which is getting farmed at the other end. Uh, you've also got, of course, uh, three point bases and the A point being moved out of towers, which should be done across the board. But overall, I don't think just moving the A point is going to make enough of a difference. Not when, as you can see in the image in the video right now, we've got a 20 minute timer, which we're ever so slowly ticking down as the enemy pop climbs and climbs and climbs. Now, very shortly, they're going to push us off B point, they're going to destroy our Sundra there. 
and they're then going to squeeze us up to C point and probably wash us out of that because we don't have hard spawns, the defenders do, they can just focus on one point at a time and squeeze the attackers out and they've got bags of time to do that. So, it's a problem. Now personally I think that the timer should be dropped down, I mean possibly you know, as drastic as halving all the times across the board, even for taking three points, halve it down to perhaps, what is it, three and a half minutes rather than seven minute cap time. Now that seems very short, but if you can manage to do that, especially on SMA like Sierra Listing Post, then it's going to be a huge advantage. Now on top of that, biolabs. Biolabs are a big problem, and they're a problem because they are difficult to take. They're difficult to take because of purely about logistics. Okay, the attackers are supposed to be able to have Galaxy AMSs on the landing pads, which would give them a very short runtime into the Biolab, and that obviously isn't the case. So that's how Biolabs were designed back in the day, and Galaxy AMSs disappeared, and rightly so, because they bypass the ground fight. But it's an issue, and Biolabs have been in a sorry state for years because of it. Now what needs to be done with Biolabs is attackers need a spawn point inside the Biolab itself. Now to do that without any drastic changes, I think simply you need to give the attackers the teleport rooms as spawn points. Now you can tie that potentially to you own a satellite base which has that relevant teleporter, you earn that as a as a, uh, as a spawn point. Now that's not to say that there's going to be a, a, a that's not going to harm the battle outside of a biolab, but to be honest with you there's very few battles that take place outside of a biolab which are actually lengthy or interesting. Okay, It seems to be more of a kind of a chase the circle with tanks occasionally as they pop in and out of the uh, shield. Now, you could do that, you could also potentially do the whole amp station, like Zervan amp station kind of uh, treatment, where you take the um, cap points and you tie those to the uh, teleport rooms, making them spawn rooms, and that could work. Uh, I'm not convinced that's enough, so I, I believe that personally, I believe that uh, making the spawn points out of the, because, because you own the satellite base, is the way forward. So you own that satellite base, you can then spawn at that point inside the biolab. And that will make a huge difference to biolabs. It will make them much easier to take um, and potentially we could see the, the cap time then increased if that's, if it makes it too easy. But really, it's uh, we'll have to wait and see if that ever happens. Anyway, thank you very much for watching ladies and gents. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've not, or if you've got anything you want to discuss about it, please leave a message either on Reddit or on YouTube. Thanks very much guys. Enjoy your fights.